Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to teach you how you can use font away some icon inside your HTML and also CSS document. I'm going to teach you two ways you can use that to add the font of some icon inside your HTML and also CSS document as well. You can also use this method inside the bootstrap as well. So let's get started. That's step number one, you need to get the CDN file. So CD and I'm going to write CD and font away some inside the search engine and open the first one link. Once you open that, you, then you need to select this one URL, copy it. Once you copy it, then you need to add inside your project, right? Once you add the CDN file inside your document, then you will able to use the font away some icon inside your project. So inside the body section, I call I write the term and display font away some icon. So inside there, I'm going to call the I tag, and inside the I tag, I will assign the class which icon you will assign. So, for example, I will assign the FA SFA um, camera. So, this is the icon as I save it and open it in the live server, then the camera icon has been appeared inside my page right okay I, I'm gonna close that and then I'm gonna display the icons and other icons so I I call I tag also you can use this pen tag inside there but I call I tag class and I call F A S F A bell so right as you can see and also you can use this way class F A R and F A bell. It will appear in the light size without a background color as you can see. Right. Then the next thing is you can assign the size of the font away some icon inside the class. So I'm gonna write the comment and Sizing font version. So I call I tag class. First, I'm gonna comment that because I just show you one by one. So inside there, I'm gonna call fs fa bell. Then first, I'm gonna save that. Then the bell icon has been appeared inside my page, right? But I want to increase the size. This is my browser size is a 100 percent but i want to increase the size of that so i call f a x s cell let's see extra small right i use another way and i call f a s m small right i call again it and i call the l g means large skin size Right. You can use this way to increase the font size or font away some icon. So you can also use 3x, right? And also you can use 6x, so. And also you can add the 10x. So let's see, right? So those are icon sizes after the uh, class which represent the icon name after the icon name or icon class name you can add the class which appeared inside there as you can see right so this is a call font awesome with skin size so let's talk about the how we can display the font awesome icon animated right so I call animated icons, right? So I call I take in class FA, FS, FA, and calls synchronous. This is short form, right? S Y N C, hyphen A L T, right? And then I'm gonna call FA spin. First, I'm gonna save that. Uh, I'll use spin. As you can see, 
you can also add the size fa3x so as you can see alright let's add another icon like fa uh, I'm gonna add the spine spiner and spiner fa pulse so let's see right so let's talk about how we can display the font of this icon inside the ul and the li tag right so i'm gonna call ul li inside the li i call span tag right inside the span tag i call high tag inside the i tag i call the class name which used to display the font of this icon so I call fs fa check square first save that and let's see but we need to include another class inside the fa url save and also we need to assign the class inside fa li so let's see okay i can't see anything else on the page so i think there is a mistake fas fa check to square so let's see this time okay mm, fa ul spin tag okay after the closing tag i'm gonna use it and save let's see this time mm, fa I think FAUL FALI and FS FA check to square. Uh, I think something square. Right, as you can see, guys. Right. Also, you can use another way uh, inside there. So I'm gonna use same code, but I'm gonna change the color. Like I mean, change the font size. Fs fs spinal f a pulse pulse cell and let's see. Okay, f a spinal spinal. So let's see as you can see right so the next thing is how you can display that inside I mean I do you want to rotate the font of a semicon or rotate that so you can do that with the help of uh, font of a some class so I'm gonna comment that and I call rotate font of a some so the first thing I'm going to call I tag, I call class FS FA car and you need to call the FA rotate class. How much rotate that? So I'm going to call the 90 degrees. So let's see. As you can see, you can use same thing, but I'm going to change it to 180. So let's see use same thing to change the rotation size to 70 so let's see right also you can use another way so i call i class same thing fs fa car but this time i'm going to use fa flip horizontal horizontal so let's see as you can see so I will write the BR tag then you will are able to understand better than right. So you can use same thing but this time I'm going to use Philip horizontal. Uh, then I'm going to call her vertical. So let's see. As you can see. Right. So last thing I'm going to show you how you can add that with the help of CSS. Right. First I'm going to save that and let's see you 
the page is empty right now I'm gonna add the span tag and I'm gonna call Twitter right and I'm gonna use Facebook and also use YouTube right so I need to assign the class inside there so the class I'm gonna add the Twitter and copy it and paste on there this will be user not uh, Facebook and this is a Twitter right and last thing is YouTube right so I'm gonna use lower size of the phone right so um, Twitter Facebook and also YouTube right so I want to display the font of a semicolon inside there so I just need to call the CSS section I need to use style sheet inside there because I don't need to make another file so the first I'm going to write the class name like uh, call Twitter then I'm going to call sudo selector before Curly brackets inside there I need to use the content so inside there you need to get the code which code I'm going to show you how you can get the code so I go to fontawaysound.com and inside there you need to write the first I'm going to search the Twitter on there and you will get the Twitter icon like this one so I'm going to use so this is a code unicode you need to copy it you will use that with the help of backslash sign and code name right save that you can't see the icon inside your page i'm going to show you as you can see but you can use another thing inside there the first thing is you need to use font family will be font away some and also you need to use the font weight so I'm gonna use font weight will be 400 so let's see this time as you can see so let's add the CSS I mean Facebook page I mean icon so I copy the second one and I'm gonna use the same thing and inside that I'm gonna paste it this is a call Facebook so let's see right and also you can use the YouTube code on there YouTube right Unicode and paste it so this is a Unicode code also you can change the font size I mean font weight as well as you can see okay one more thing we need to change the CD selector like this right last thing you can add add the uh, i mean you, do you want to change the color you can use the red you can do the inside the css right as you can see and other important thing is i used the cdn but i want to use the font away some offline inside my uh, project so you can do the also so i go to font away some official website you need to open that i'm going to show you from scratch I use font away some write the keyword inside the search engine open that once you open it and then you need to click on start for free this time you can't see once I comment that first I'm going to show you I comment that save it you can't see the font away some icon inside that because we have unlinked with CD and file inside my project right but once you add that then you are able to see the font of some icon right so inside the page font of some start you need to click on download once you click on the download then you need to click the six point this is the latest version of this time so inside there you need to click on the free for web and select your location or path where you download it I'm gonna select my desktop and download it once you download it then you need to I go to my font away some folder extract here and where is my font away some project name is 
fontavision.com i think this is a downloaded font avation and this is a my file this is my project right so what you need to do on there you need to open the font avation downloaded folder copy first i'm going to show you go to style.css i mean css folder inside the css folder you need to get the all.min.css copy it and go to your own project which you have used inside the project i'm going to create a folder css based on there right then the next thing you need to again go to your downloaded uh, folder font of some folder inside there you need to get the web fonts and also svgs because sometimes you will use svgs so you need to paste inside there right then the last thing you need to do you need to add the css file which appeared inside the folder so i go to my project and inside the project i'm gonna open that css folder all dot min dot css save it and let's check it now as you can see i do not use the cdn file as you can see so inside my project have a wave font folders svgs folder and one file is a call all.min.css so i hope you are understood as well how you can use font away some inside your html and also css document i have also explained you how you can use that with the help of cdn and also how you can use that with offline i hope you are understood as well thank you very much for watching have a nice day